Hi, Ty Holloway here with Holloway Bros Fishing. Uh, today we've got a quick little video on how to create extended bodies uh, for our stoneflies or large uh, caddis. In this case we're using foam and uh, creating a segmented body. But a quick way to add kind of a flare to your uh, adult stonefly and, and caddis fly patterns. Uh, I, people have kind of a misconception about extended bodies thinking that they're difficult and that they're timely, but they're, they're really not. Uh, you can create quite a few of them in one session uh, and then apply them to the flies that you're tying. So create, you know, a, make maybe a dozen of them and then and tie up your dozen flies. And if you do it that way, I would argue almost that it's quicker than, than dubbing each individual body. Uh, but a fun way to kind of add uh, a little bit of flair to your uh, favorite stonefly or catasfly pattern. Hope you enjoy. Okay, uh, we're doing uh, extended bodies today. Uh, this extended body could be used, uh, this style of extended body could be used for uh, uh, stoneflies, I use them for stoneflies, uh, and larger caddis, big October caddis, uh, but uh, hoppers even if you wanted, um, but any sort of uh, foam body, larger uh, fly that you're trying to add an extended body to. Um, the way we do it here, we're going to have kind of some segmentation here in the foam. Uh, so it really works great. I, I use it primarily for stoneflies and uh, in October caddis. Uh, but we're going to take, take our foam, any kind of color foam that you want. Uh, the width of this foam is kind of going to dictate uh, the width of your extended body. Um, so I usually go uh, about a, an eighth of an inch or so, between kind of an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. I'm going to fold it in half here just like I did there. And that, at that halfway point, we're going to shove it on our bodkin. Just like that, right in the middle. That's important. And then we're going to put our bodkin in our vise. And you can, uh, this is, you can, this, this thread is going to show up. So you can use kind of any, uh, any color thread you want. If you're doing, uh, if you're doing like, a, a, a salmon fly, if you're doing your extended bodies for your salmon flies, it's kind of fun to have a, uh, uh, an orange, an orange in there just with the with the adult salmon flies uh, kind of in that in that in that segmented part of the abdomen there they there's a lot of orange that comes through right at the right where the body is segmented so I'm going to use uh, some orange thread here we can actually we so we start the thread on our bodkin We don't need to start a whole lot there. Just like that. Now we're going to bring. So we started the thread on our, bod on our bodkin. We're going to move our foam to where we've started that thread. We're going to double our foam over along the bodkin. And we're going to get these first few wraps kind of where we want that first, that last rather, that last segmented portion of the body to be. And quite a few wraps there, I mean we kind of want that, we want that, in this case we want that, uh, that orange thread to kind of come through. Then in our, our final wrap we're going to come back to the bodkin, advance our thread forward, Pinch our foam back down. Repeat the several wraps. Same thing. Split the split the foam. Advance the thread. I'm trying to make kind of equal spacing here in our segmentation.
there and it, and it can kind of want to rotate around on you. So we're trying to kind of use our hands to prevent that from happening. Do one more segment here. Okay, and that's that. And and what I didn't mention is this this first segment here is uh, where we where we tied off our thread uh, on the bodkin or we restarted our thread rather and uh, just the the compressions of those wraps there can, can uh, secure that thread in there and keep it from kind of coming unraveled uh, inside the extended body so now we're gonna whip finish here let's do a quick and whip finish right through those uh, right in that last uh, body segment there just like that Add just a little bit of glue there. Now, I usually like to make about uh, you know a dozen of these or so, however many flies we plan on tying. Pull it off our off our bodkin, and there it is. And the end result on a fly will look something like that. So that, that there's a Clark stone with an extended body. Uh, much like uh, kind of a Moorish hopper spin-off you could say or steel. Uh, but uh, love, the, love the Clark stone with the extended body. And uh, that extended body, I think, just uh, rides nice. Uh, foam kind of sits in the water, wing wing flush with the water, under wing flush with the water, hook nice and low, and uh, uh, that hook arrangement uh, there really gets them. But again, our, our extended body, like I said, creating about maybe a dozen, you know, however many you're tying, but you can create quite a few of these uh, in preparation for tying. Uh, your your stoneflies or, or caddis, whatever you're tying, change up the color of the foam uh, depending on your pattern and uh, the color of the thread depending on uh, the effect you're going for, and uh, have fun with it. So there it was, the uh, extended body uh, for your stonefly patterns and caddisflies. We hope you enjoyed that video and are able to apply that technique to the next uh, tying session that you have. If you like that video, please subscribe uh, Holloway Bros Fishing and comment below with any other ideas or flies that you'd like to see us tie. Thanks for watching.